Well, good evening. I have a question for you. In fact, I have a few questions for you. Number one, the most important one, what do you want to do with your life? What are your hopes, your dreams, your goals? What do you enjoy doing? What makes you happy? What fills your heart with joy? What is your passion? Maybe it's travel. Maybe you want to go and see the world. Travel broadens the mind, they say. There's a big world to see. Maybe it's your family, your parents and your children. Perhaps your passion is your business, your company, your products. Or maybe your passion is a sport or a hobby. This is the beauty of life. We all enjoy doing different things. We all have different passions. Different things make us happy. And we all have choices about what we do with our life, how we spend our time, who we spend our time with. Perhaps we should all spend some time deciding on what we really want to do with our life. Would you like to change anything about your life? Would you like your life to be different? Because if so, then today is the day to start making some changes. Perhaps you're happy just as you are, but if not, if you want to change something, anything about your life, then I'm talking to you tonight. Because I have a word of warning. Time is not on your side. Life is short, and we all have uh, we're all heading in the same direction. We all have an ultimate date with the unavoidable facts of life. One day, it will be over. As they say, time flies by. For me, it seems like only yesterday I was in my 20s. So if you want to make some changes in your life, then today is the time to start taking some decisive action. You need to pick your own path through life, because if you don't, somebody else will choose it for you. And I can guarantee happiness probably doesn't lie down that path for you. I'm going to use the phrase, the American dream, to talk about your life now, or perhaps your life in the future. But I could just as easily talk about the Chinese dream, the English dream, the Australian dream, any other country. The dream's pretty much the same the world over. Here's the dream that we are given by our government, the media, society in general, our friends, our peers. It's the big house, the comfortable apartment, Maybe a car in the garage, uh, some trendy modern furniture. Perhaps there's a couple of kids for us. Um, and perhaps you, uh, you might want a bigger house when the kids come along. Of course, you'll have to pay for their schooling, maybe one day college too. How do you do all this? Because you can't fund the dream on your own. Don't worry. The friendly bank is there to help you with a mortgage for the house, um, a loan for the car, a couple of credit cards for the little luxuries in life that you'll need to keep up with the neighbours. But we're force-fed this dream, which traps us in a cycle of debt, paying bills endlessly each month from our 20s until the day we retire. Who benefits when we take on these huge burdens of debt? Well, the banks, obviously, are the first to benefit, but the government too does, because we promise to work for 20, 30, 40 of the best years of our life, paying tax back on a regular monthly basis to the government. Don't fall into this trap, or if you have, get yourself out of it, unless, of course, you're entirely happy just as you are. If you want the freedom to enjoy your life, doing what you want to do with your time, then you need to escape the debt trap. How do you do that? Don't fall for the big myth that the house or the apartment is a great investment. Don't give, up the pressure, don't give in to the pressure to keep up with others. Don't think you have to have the new iPhone 7 just so that your friends think you're cool. Finances are not complicated. A simple route to avoid debt is this. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. When you rent instead of buying, you are much freer and much better off financially. When you want to move on, you can just give a month's notice and you can go. You can't do that when you buy and the bank owns the home you live in. My partner and I own very little. Most of what we have fits into two backpacks. We're free to travel the world and experience different countries and different cultures. We can move on whenever we like. And to support ourselves, we only need to work part-time because our expenses are so low. Travel and adventure are our passions. Here are a couple of the things that we've experienced over the past couple of years. We lived on an island in the Caribbean off the coast of Panama. We traveled in an RV, a big mobile home, around America. 
We lived by the river in England for a couple of months. And now we live in Shenzhen in China, working as part-time English teachers here. What are our plans for the future? Well, we're saving up now for the next part of the adventure, which will take us to Australia, where um, we'll be staying for a couple of months. Then we're not really sure. Maybe Fiji and the islands in the Pacific, perhaps South America for a couple of months, and enter on to Europe for the summer. We travel cheaply, and we usually find accommodation for free, like this place, which will be our next home in Australia. We do this by offering our services as house and pet sitters. That's a whole new presentation in its own right. Um, and we work online at times to bring in some income to pay for our food. Of course, not everyone wants to be global wanderers like Vanessa and I, but my point is that you need to figure out what it is that you want to do. Then you need to do something about making that happen because the future, your future, is in your hands. Is it easy? Well, actually it is when you decide to take a leap of faith. Once you start making the changes you need to make, you will find the road ahead becomes much clearer. Does it happen overnight? No, of course not. But the changes you make today will affect your future. More changes will impact on your life further on down the line. The life you are living today is the result of all the changes you've made, all, all the choices you've made up to this point. The life you get to live in the future depends on, the, on you and you alone and the choices you make today. Choose wisely so that you too can enjoy a life filled with passion. Thank you.